हेलो एवरीबडी इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल सॉल्व नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स बाय ब्रांच करंट मेथड नो दिस इज द गिवन सर्किट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द पावर डिसिपेटेड इन नाइन ओम रेजिस्टेंस ओके सो अप टिल नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट वैल्यू ऑफ अननोन रेजिस्टेंस हियर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट पावर डिसिपेटेड बाय अ रेजिस्टेंस and if you see this circuit carefully there is one more difference here so here there are two types of sources that are mentioned in the circuit so first type of source is the dc voltage source whereas second type of source it is dc current source so this problem it has both type of sources first one is the voltage source and second one is the current source so how to solve such type of problem so that we are going to study in this particular session again we have to follow same six steps so that we are following so first step we have to give names to various points so a b c d e f g h okay so first step to give names to various points then second step we have to indicate polarity of voltage source now here long line it will indicate plus short line indicate minus okay so we should not indicate polarity of current source okay so we should indicate only polarity of voltage source then the next step third step we have to assume current so starting from this source this current let us call this current as i1 now this current i1 it will flow up to point c now at point c some current it will flow through 4 ohm let us call that current as i2 and remaining current it will flow through 9 ohm resistance so it will be i1 minus i2 now this current i1 minus i2 it will flow up to point d now at point d there is one path to flow the current that is through resistance 5 ohm but there is one current source here and magnitude of current source is 6 ampere so in other words we know this current it is 6 ampere so current flowing through this current source it is 6 ampere now incoming current is i1 minus i2 out of that 6 ampere is flowing in this path so remaining current after applying kcl so it will be i1 minus i2 minus 6 so that will be the current flowing through resistance of 5 ohm why because this current is i1 minus i2 and this is the current source whose magnitude is 6 ampere so remaining current will be i1 minus i2 minus 6 okay now next step step number 4 we have to give the polarity of voltage drop so when current enters plus when it leaves minus plus minus plus minus plus minus okay so we have to indicate polarity of voltage drop across all resistances so how many unknowns are there here in this circuit as you can see there are only two unknowns so first is i1 second is i2 because current through this path we know it has 6 ampere so we should apply kvl two times as there are two unknowns now which loop we should consider while applying the kvl so first loop we can consider it as a b c h a then second we can consider it as h c d g h now remember we should not consider this as the loop g d e f g while applying kvl or we cannot consider h c d e f g h or a b c d e f g h a why because there is one current source in one of the branch in the circuit okay and whenever there is the current source in any loop so we should not consider that current source while applying the kvl so here we can consider this as one loop and this as the second loop or we can consider this as first loop and second loop you can consider it as a b c d g h a so these two loops we can consider now let us call this loop as loop number 1 and this is loop number 2 okay now applying kvl so apply kvl kvl to loop 1 So loop number one, it is A B C H A. A B C H A. Okay. Now we have to follow the sign convention. When current 
when there is increase in voltage we should consider it as positive and when there is decrease in voltage we should consider it as negative now while moving from a to b we are moving from minus to plus there is increase in voltage so we should write plus next plus to minus there is decrease in voltage so it will be minus 3 into i1 plus plus to minus again there is decrease in voltage it will be minus 4 into i2 equal to 0 okay so plus 27 minus 3 i1 minus 4 i2 equal to 0 so if we rearrange 3 i1 plus 4 i2 equal to 27 so that will be equation number 1 okay now we have to apply kvl to second loop so apply kvl to loop 2 so second loop is h c d g h okay now while moving from h to c we are moving from minus to plus so there is increase in voltage so plus 4 into i2 plus now c to d we are moving from plus to minus so that is minus 9 into i1 minus i2 plus now d to g we are moving from plus to minus so it will be minus 5 into i1 minus i2 minus 6 and this should be equal to 0 algebraic sum of voltages in a loop is 0 now we will simplify this so minus 9 i1 minus 5 i1 so it will be minus 14 i1 so 4 i2 plus 9 i2 that will be 13 i2 plus 5 i2 that will be 13 plus 5 sorry it will be 18 i2 okay 4 i2 plus 9 4 plus 9 13 plus 5 it will be 18 18 i2 minus 5 minus 6 it will be plus 30 and on that side it will be minus 30 equation number 2 okay so first equation 3 i1 plus 4 i2 equal to 27 second equation minus 14 i1 plus 18 i2 equal to minus 30 now if you solve these two simultaneous equations we will get i1 which is equal to 5.509 ampere and i2 we will get it as 2.618 ampere after solving these two simultaneous equations i1 5.509 ampere and i2 it is 2.618 ampere now read the question once again so what we have to do we have to compute the power dissipated in 9 ohm resistance meaning is that how much power is consumed by 9 ohm resistance now we can apply the formula for power in this case p equal to i square into r so first we should calculate current flowing through 9 ohm resistance square of that current multiply by 9 that will be the answer so first we will calculate current flowing through 9 ohm resistance so in this case how much current is flowing it is i1 minus i2 so i1 minus i2 that is equal to 5.509 minus 2.618 so current through 9 ohm resistance if you calculate this subtraction it will give it as 2.819 ampere 2.891 ampere sorry 2.891 ampere after subtracting these two then we have to calculate power taken by 9 ohm resistance so formula for power it is i square into r now in this case it will be i 9 ohm square into 9 current flowing through 9 ohm square multiply by resistance value 9 now if you calculate this you will get power consumed as 75.22 watt i 9 ohm already we have obtained 2.891 square of that multiply by 9 that is value of resistance so you will get it as 75.22 watt so i will write here power taken by 9 ohm resistance it is 75.22 watt 
so that is the final answer okay so in this problem what is asked we have to calculate power taken by one of the resistance and one more thing here we have current source so whenever there is current source directly we know the value of current accordingly we have to apply the kirchhoff's current law and one more important thing whenever we are applying kvl we should consider those loops which do not have current source okay and after solving the same procedure that we have followed we will get the current and once we got current square of that current multiply by the resistance so that will give us the power taken by any resistance okay so hope you have understood how to solve this particular problem thank you